you know I gotta record my first steak, right? That I'm gonna take off a of Everest. So here you go. So 33.5 for five BNB. And remember, this was initial steak that cost me 82 BNB. Just to let you know, right? So this essentially brings me to about 35% of ROI. Total, I'm right around there, um, just because of all the stakes and, and whatnot. And the one thing I'm realizing is that, you know, as this continues to kind of, it is dropping, right? So if you look here, I started at about 8%, 7.5, 5, 5.8, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3. So here's what I'm realizing. Like, you have to continue to add B and B. So, yeah, you can ape in if you feel like there is a good particular auction day. But in general, if you have a set plan of 100 B and B, you should probably just do 10, 10, 10 or something like that or, you know, for like 10 weeks. Because just because the way the market is in general, like you wouldn't think that if you were about five days ago that this Averis um, lobby would be anywhere close to it was. So I bought again today, right? So let me switch it. All right, I bought again. I've been buying more frequently and to sustain my ROI. And if you don't do that, you're going to get wrecked. And it's because people are able to buy at a better rate than you were, right? So today I bought, I put one BNB in for almost 6,000, right? Where here, one BNB was 1459. And this is the stake that I'm taking out, right? I, the majority of that stake I'm taking out is like 82 BNB of this 85. So in order to keep up with the Joneses, you have to continue to put in. So here's one thing I've learned too, is do, do you, and, and I know I said in my last video, but it's true because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm seeing all these people putting in a ton of BNB. I'm just trying to put in a ton of, but at the end of the day, man, whatever's, whatever you want to do, um, whatever you can afford to do, um, don't overstretch yourself. And I'm trying to not just, you know, start taking liquid everywhere and, and do this. You know, I'm trying to play with risk capital at the end of the day. But um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you need to maintain this. And the only way to maintain your dividends is to make sure you're going in there every single fucking auction. Because you don't know who's going to show up in the auction. There might be a thousand people, it might be 200 people, it might be Father's Day, it might be Mother's Day, it might be Grandma's Day, it might be Secretary's Day. Um, so just food for thought. If you have 100 BNB, you have 10 BNB, whatever you have, just divide it by whatever number you want to and just make sure you go equal. And sorry that there is a crazy YouTube because my kid is home, obviously. And <laughs> so anyway, hope I don't get copyright for that Coco Melon. All right, I'm going to pull my money and make sure this motherfucker pays. All right, so I'm going to collect. It's live, baby. I'm on ledger. I'm do a sign across and collect some B and B. And let's see. Um, I only got points. One six. I love this feeling of collecting. So here's one thing about. There you go, Avarice. Uh, Everest, whatever. Hi, <laughs> buddy. Is I think about drip. I put about fifty, sixty thousand dollars in drip, right? And in drip, I just keep compounding. The market fucking sucks. I was in there since January, and if I taken out, I don't know. I, I don't even know how much to say. Say five thousand dollars of that. Where in Everest, I've taken out almost a third of my investment into Everest, right? So. I am enjoying it, but at the same time, I'm learning that you're not going to get 8% a day. The only time that you're going to get the amount that, say, a Son of Breezy is getting or, or Thomas G or, the, or these guys that are out there fucking pulling in a ton of money because they were smart, man. They got in early. This is why I said my last one. You got to fucking get in early. So instead of me being able to ROI in seven days, I'm going to ROI in three weeks. <laughs> Which is fine, right? It's free tokens now at this point. When you get to that, I'm sorry, when you get to that point, where they're at that point now and they're reinvesting, right? Where, um, you know, where I am still 35% into ROI. So I got 65% to go. 
right? So what I'm gonna do is, this is what's really cool. So I just, I, I actually feel really cool. I just fucking took that out, right? So 33 dBb in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, refresh this. I'm curious what this says. Okay, it's, uh, this is completed, but I guess it just stays there. Let me just, I wanna see, oh, my tokens are there, all right. So that was about 120,000 tokens. I bought another five B, um, one BNB today. Uh, and so I have 125,000. I'm gonna stake this 125,000. And I have uh, all these ending at the same time because I'm gonna try to figure out what my, what my actual plan is here going forward. Is it gonna be every seven days or, or whatnot? One, two, five, nine, four, six. And I think it's eight days. And I don't, so I know someone hit me about the sheet. Um, this is not the sheet I'm gonna give out. It's it just, it's too freaking crazy. But the way this works, um, so, so you guys are looking, is this is gonna be this new stake combining the 120,000 stake that I just collected, plus one BNB stake I put in today. This So this will be my ninth stake. And what is gonna end up happening is I'm going to start it now, right? Um, and this is a little off. But I'm going to start it now. I'm going to do it for eight days, right? And it's going to match up with these guys because they started 10 and 9, right? Um, effectively because they're one day back. And then everything's going to end at the same time, uh, at least for the bigger stakes. So these 27, 27, 27, I'm going to add eight. Um, and it's all going to end. So I'm going to have 120,000 tokens plus 57,000 plus 23,000. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what I want to do. It just It kind of buys me some time. It's kind of what I'm saying. So I'm going to stake these. Hopefully my math is right. Oh, Grandma. Grandma, <laughs> Grandma's here. Anyway, sorry guys. Family time, dinner time. But I just want to do this live so you guys can see it. Um, there you go. So I stake that and I'm gonna refresh this guy. There you go. So, oh, uh, shit, break. So it's one day off. That's okay. She's in seven days. Oh, like, yeah, 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 it's okay. Anyway, at the end of the day, this is what I got. Um, I'm super excited. I was able to pull um, money out and. All right, it's cool. I have this really huge stake, and then I'll have two. So, at the end of the day, I'll figure it out. Everyone, hope you like this video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit that thumbs up twice. And if you don't know, I got into what the fuck ooze. I already doubled my money in ooze over like getting in a pre um, at launch. It launched at a dollar, and I got in. I think at dollar uh, forty. And then at the same time, you have stake still doing it. Um, st I mean, I've, I probably pulled about 2,000 on my 5,000 here. So stake is still still running strong. Drip, I don't even say about drip. Um, this could hit five or six bucks, I'll be honest. So I don't even know. But at the end of the day, still got cash in there. So everyone have a good rest of your night. Happy to freaking Tuesday. I'll see you.